with much slower sales than it used to get, you would think the Tesla Model X was a worse car. But actually, in many ways, it's improved. Right now, there is two versions, a dual-motor all-wheel drive version, long-range, and a tri-motor plaid performance version. Range is 352 miles or 570 kilometers on the long range, but that's EPA. So WLTP range would be about 670 kilometers, whilst the Plaid gets 335 miles or 540 kilometers of EPA range. Performance, the long range, 3.8 seconds, 0 to 100. The Plaid, 2.5 seconds, 0 to 100. Power, 670 horsepower from the rear-wheel drive and 1,020 horsepower from the Plaid version. With a cargo space of 94.5 cubic feet, which is 2,676 litres, this is a big car. It's a legitimate three-row, seven-seat electric SUV, and you would think it would be therefore really heavy. The much, much newer BMW iX is a similar size, but weighs around about 400 pounds more. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Tesla has very quietly reduced the weight of its large electric SUV, the Model X, by 400 pounds. That's nearly 200 kilograms. And in fact, it means it now weighs slightly less than a much smaller BYD Sea Lion 07. How the hell did Tesla pull this off? It's quite interesting because Tesla are very open about what they've done. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. You know, a lot of people say that Tesla's Model X and the Model S, they're old cars. They're, Tesla's done nothing to them. But imagine if Toyota, right, brought out the Land Cruiser, which is a very old car, same old platform. Sure, it's got a new boxy shape to it, but it's basically the same old vehicle. Imagine if Toyota brought it out and said, you know what, guys? It's um, pretty much the same car as the previous generation. It's got you know, a few bit, bit better software. In fact, much better software. In fact, much, much, much better software. And it weighs 400 pounds less. Um, I think people would be saying, wow, what did you do? That's a remarkable achievement. But no one's saying anything about Tesla pulling this off. However, speaking with car and driver recently, um, Car and driver actually weighed the Model X and it weighs 5,219 pounds, which is 2,367 kilograms, meaning it's lighter than similar internal combustion engine vehicles. Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering said that the original model had a heavy induction type motor at the rear wheels. And now it has a much lighter permanent magnet motor and new half shafts an improvement that has saved around 100 pounds or 45 kilos. But that's only one quarter of the weight savings. Tesla also changed the Model X's battery pack in 2021 to include more energy dense cells, allowing it to get rid of 300 cells. Alongside improvements to the pack structure, this allowed the Model X with its fancy Falcon wing doors to decrease weight by another 41 kilos or 90 pounds. So now we're talking about 190 pounds of weight loss. Further weight saving measures though were adopted for the Model X's most recent 2026 update. I don't know why, but no one talks about this, that even though Tesla, right, appeared to be selling what is an old car, the Model X, in many ways, it's not as old as it seems. Roughly 80 pounds or 36 kilograms have been removed from the EV's interior for the latest generation. Moravi said that Tesla now uses thinner materials throughout the cabin and has integrated airbag components directly into the headliner. The five seat version sheds another 50 pounds or 22 kilos thanks to the removal of the trunk pedestal mounting. Tesla also tweaked the seat belt mounting and structure to save 2.7 kilos or six pounds 
and cut 44 pounds or 20 kilos worth of high voltage wiring. That's a lot of weight in wiring. In addition, the plaid features fewer radiators, saving an extra 30 pounds or 13.6 kilos. Large aluminium mega castings in the Model X's body construction account for a further 20 pounds or nine kilogram reduction while improving overall rigidity. Even the front and rear fascias have been slimmed by 0.6 millimeters, a small change that removed an additional five kilos. So all these things add up immensely to make a vehicle that for its size, weight and battery pack size is remarkably efficient. But not every change has reduced weight. In fact, some changes have increased weight. Making bigger wheels makes them heavier. In fact, the hubs and the one other, well, one other big change has increased weight. That is the improved sound insulation. But I think it's worth, I think it's worth carrying that a bit of extra weight for the quietness you're going to get with the drive. At roughly 500 pounds or 227 kilograms lighter than a BMW iX xDrive 50, which is a similar size, it's proof that careful engineering and incremental refinement can remove weight and provide a far superior vehicle than what the original Model X was. Now, a lot of people think of the Model X as being the old car that it appears to be, but in many ways, it's actually quite new. Tesla has just cut the price of the Model Y in the United States by 2000 US dollars. That means you can get a Model Y now for well less than 35,000 US dollars if you qualify for the tax credit. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. It is actually great because you really can't say that EVs are expensive. I mean, you can't because if price is, if you're price sensitive, what's gonna happen is you're gonna actually probably qualify for the tax credit of seven and a half thousand dollars. And seeing as Tesla just reduced the price of, well, all of its Model Ys in the United States by $2,000, that means the cheapest version of the Model Y is now $42,000. That brings the price down to $34,500 US dollars after the credit comes into play. And it does for most people. Most people qualify. I think about 70% of Tesla buyers qualify. So it's worth considering, especially now. You're probably wondering what's going on with prices. Well, Tesla did actually increase the price of the Model Y by $1,000 about three weeks ago, but now it's discounted it by $2,000 US dollars. And this comes after Tesla sales in February. They were lower, about 25% lower in the United States than what they were in February of last year. Thank you. 